Hi, this is Lisa with Splendiverse Creations. Today, I'm going to show you how to create the blossom on this card using your eCraft and the Fundamentals 1 SD card. The blossom shown here on this card is created with pattern paper. Here's the blossom again on another project created with the eCraft. This also was cut on pattern paper. These are the images you're going to cut from the Fundamentals 1 SD card using your eCraft. I have the flower number 9. We're going to cut 2 inch by 2 inch, 1 and a half by 1 and a half, and 1 by 1. From the whimsical, we're going to use image number one and cut two flourishes, one two by two, and one one and a half by one and a half. And from the shape number one, we're going to cut a heart at three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and a heart at three by three. Let's get started. I'm going to open the eCraft software. I'm going to add a 6x6 six six page. We're going to go to My Library. The Fundamentals 1 card. And select our flower image. To change the size of your flower, we're going to go up to the box here. And the largest flower, we're going to change to 2 inches. There you can see the 2 inch flower. just going to delete that image. Now I can go ahead and edit, copy, and then we'll edit and paste. Now you can see I have two, two inch flowers on my screen. You can go ahead to continue, copy and paste, and resize your images until you have all the flowers that you want on your screen. Then you can go ahead and send them to your eCraft. You're going to do the same thing with the rest of the images that you want to use from the Fundamentals 1 card. I'm going to go ahead and feed my 6x6 piece into my eCraft. Now I'm going to send those images to the eCraft to be cut. The um, feed paper from the front, because that's where my paper is being pulled from. And go ahead and hit cut. You're going to notice the blue light is on. That's letting you know that my pressure is set fine to cut these images. When your eCraft is done cutting, you'll have your flowers cut on your cardstock or your pattern paper, just like this. You'll just go ahead and simply punch them out to release the tab. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my flower, simply pinch the edges and push in. I'm 
I'm going to continue to do that with all the flower petals. Once you've done that, your petals will look something similar to this. I'm going to start with the smallest petal, and I'm just going to push down into the center. And repeat that with all the flowers. Now you can go ahead and take those flowers and alternate them. Just like this to form your blossom. And insert a brad into the center. I added texture to the black heart by running it through it in I added texture to the black heart by running it through an embossing folder. Going to highlight the embossed areas with some silver rub on. You can then layer the black heart on top of your red heart. You'll go ahead and adhere your flourishes and your flower blossoms. Again, here's that same grouping of images on a card. And here on a gift box. Thanks for stopping by.